Another issue you are heavily involved in is trade. Uh, the Japanese Prime Minister Abe was just here. Uh, he was, you know, pushing strongly for this big agreement, right. uh, trade agreement uh, with the United States and, and other countries in, the, uh, in our hemisphere. Uh, you're working with the White House on this. Go figure. Uh, look, this is very important for our country. First, we need to pass something called Trade Promotion Authority, which empowers Congress to make sure that we get the best trade agreement possible. But in a world where 95% of the world's consumers live in other countries, not our country, we have to break down trade barriers so that we can have more jobs here at home, making grow things in America to sell them overseas. And the problem is, if you're standing still on trade, you're losing, you're falling behind. There have been 48 trade agreements in Asia since 2000. We were a party to two of them, only two. And as a result, our share of trade to Asia has gone down 42%. There are going to be 3.2 billion people in the middle class in Asia by the year 2030. An enormous market for us if we take advantage of it. The last point I would make is the rules of the global economy, Bob, are being written right now. There's no question about that. The question is who's going to write them? Are we going to write the rules of their allies or is China going to write them for China's benefit, which is not in our interest? Those are the kinds of things that are occurring and being decided right now. And that is why we, on a bipartisan basis, need to engage on trade to make it fair, to make it more jobs, to help America get ahead, but to help us set the standards. And so the kind of trade agreement we're trying to talk about here is bring other countries up to our standards so we can have a fair deal because these countries can already sell to America pretty much unrestricted. We don't have the kind of access to their, their markets that they have to ours, and that's what we're trying to get with this trade agreement. Paul Ryan, always a pleasure to Thank have you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I'll be back with some personal thoughts about all of this.